warning, this is not for the faint of heart. This also isn't a guide on how to upgrade your Steam Deck's SSD or thumbsticks either. There are better videos for that, but I'm just here to share my experience with installing a 2TB SSD into my Steam Deck, and it's a 2230 sized one as well. The first major upgrade I want to point out is this fan right here. Since the launch of the Steam Deck, there has been some controversy in regards to one of two fan models, the Delta fan model. Delta is a pretty reputable fan manufacturer in the server space. They also make a bunch of laptop style blower fans as well. Unfortunately here, it seems like the Delta fan in this Steam Deck is pretty whiny. It whines all the time. There's a lot of coil whine. You can hear a high pitched I don't want to say screeching noise, but it's hard to describe, and in hindsight, I probably should have done a sound test. But once you switch to the Hua Ying fan, it's a way better experience. The volume is still the same, and the performance is basically no different, but the pitch is gone. Well, it's not gone, it's just lower. It's a less annoying pitch as well. I happen to get the iFixit kit as well, because, you know, why not, right? And I also don't like have spare guitar picks around, so you know. And this right here is the Ghoulie Kit Electromagnetic Sticks. What are these for? Well, they more or less prevent your stick from drifting. Ever. And finally, the Eagle Eye Among You may have discovered this package lying around the corner. This is the star of the show. It's a mystery though, so we'll save that for last. iFixit gave us two different bits for opening the back because honestly, the screws are a bit different. I also, like, was following the iFixit directions, so like, yeah, just follow them instead. One thing to note is that this back cover right here, this back cover, unfortunately I kind of messed up the application, and so... <laughs> I'm sorry Mosquito Designs, but the skin's gotta go. The back at least. And also, I don't have any more back pieces, sadly, so I'll have to get some later if I ever want to use a skin again. Ah uh, yeah, so there's quite a bit of residue on my Steam Deck, I'll have to clean it off later. Believe me, if I didn't cut out some of the footage here, this video would be well over an hour long. Anyways, I popped off this metal cover here, unscrewing three screws, and now it's our turn to disassemble the battery, because, well, quite frankly, you really shouldn't be working in this while the battery's connected to the Steam Deck. And now for the star of our show to come in, the 2TB NVMe SSD, the Micron 2400. You would not believe how much this thing cost me. It was, how do I say this? Very expensive. It costs more than a 64 gigabyte model of a Steam Deck alone. Is it worth the money? Probably not, but you know what? If I'm gonna upgrade my Steam Deck, I may as well go all the way, right? Next up are some joystick replacements. These are Gully Kit's Hall Effect sticks for the Steam Deck. So in theory, you don't need a solder to make use of it. I mean, all you have to do is plop the sticks in and they just work. However, there is one missing feature that will not work if you don't properly solder it, and that is the touch sensors on your sticks. I'm gonna level with you. This is a wooden surface, and it's also not a ventilated room, so I'm not gonna solder on camera. You don't wanna see my embarrassing soldering skills as well, so like, you know. After a very stressful soldering experience, because I have little soldering experience, it was successful. I also like, have a really cheap soldering iron, so it's not the best quality. You know how it is. And would you look at that, my electronic screwdriver ran out of power. Great. This is definitely the worst upgrade video anyone's ever put out in the history of YouTube. Maybe. I don't know. And I've got the left stick right here too that's being screwed in off camera because I forgot to do the camera angles. <sighs> Damn it. Well, it's too late now. Now, as you may have guessed, this SSD has no OS on it, so we're gonna have to install it manually. Thankfully, Valve provides an image that you can just flash to a flash drive and then, you know, install it that way. Installation is going to take a bit to do, and updates are going to take a bit to do after that as well. So, like, yeah, you'll need some time. I did this in the dead of night, so I guess no video games tonight then, huh? But after that, wow, look at that. A usable 1.8 terabytes. Amazing. Superb. 
excellent. You may be thinking that you may not need an SD card at this point, but believe me when I say that you'll still want an SD card. I have to say, one man shouldn't hold all of this power. And while this is no Linus Tech Tips Extreme Upgrade where you, you know, affix a heatsink to the back of the Steam Deck, I mean... This is pretty good. That said, Valve has stated some concerns with replacing the SSD with a third-party SSD. That's not, you know, the Kingston drive that they use. If you were to ask me, I would say the battery life seems pretty similar to what it was before. That said, I haven't run any empirical testing, and honestly, I can't be bothered to. But I'm sure someone's gonna do it, right? Some other YouTuber? After installing the new Gully Kit sticks, you will have to calibrate your sticks. Go watch the Fox's video. He shows you how to do it. It's command line stuff, yes, but honestly, if you took the time to replace your sticks, then you should be prepared for this. So let's talk about the upgrade experience. How was the upgrade experience? Well, I came in woefully unprepared. My electronic screwdriver wasn't even charged. I had a really crappy soldering iron. I also, like, had to cross-reference the iFixit video multiple times. But honestly, other than that, though... If you have the time, this is actually pretty easy. Well, easy enough for anyone that's ever worked small electronics. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone that's too afraid to open up their computer for routine maintenance. Now let's talk about whether or not it was worth it for the price, and the answer to that is probably not. I mean, for starters, the Micron SSD isn't even available to consumers. It's more of a thing that you buy as a business. I just happened to find myself a dealer that was willing to sell to me for $430. And the dealer was willing to give me a discount if I bought in bulk, but uh, you know, why would I buy it in bulk, right? The SSD alone cost 430 US dollars. That's about $30 more than the 64 gigabyte model of the Steam Deck. The Gully Kit sticks came in a set of two for $30, and the fan was also like $30, with the little iFixit kit. All in all, that was around $500. That's $500 of my own money as well, so like, yeah. We finally relaunched our Patreon page, so be sure to check us out if you want to support us. Promise we'll start doing exclusive content soon. And for more high-tech lowlife updates, be sure to join our Discord server in the description below. 